PPSH is now a great SMG to use in Cold War multiplayer, but if you want to get it gold, there's a few pretty difficult challenges you need to complete, especially the long shot challenges. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my complete guide for how to lock the golden camo on the PPSH in the quickest and easiest ways possible, showing you the best classes, maps and player styles you want to be using, as well as going through each individual class, giving you some specific tips on how to complete each one in the quickest and easiest ways. The PPSH is a really good SMG now with high fire rate, damage and really good range with a really big mag, but leveling it up can still take quite a bit of time like all the guns in this game do. So to do is quicker, play on smaller maps like Nuketown and Crossroads and I definitely recommend playing in objective game modes like Hardpoint, Domination and Control as it brings all the enemies together giving you easy kills and spawns that are more predictable so you can get lots of easy kills in a single game. Whilst you're leveling it up make sure you are aiming for headshots as well because by the time you've completed all the levels on this gun you will be able to complete most of if not all of the stripes and spray challenges. So whilst you're doing this just use any attachments on the gun that you like but I definitely recommend trying to get a bit more damage at range, get a bigger mag on and also maybe increase the hip fire accuracy as well with a laser just to make it easier to get those quick kills. To do this easily you can play in hardcore or core game modes but core is probably best as this gun is powerful enough to get the kills easily and quickly so hardcore will just make it a little bit more difficult you don't really need to be playing in it anyway so it's definitely worth just playing in core for now. There will be a few challenges further on where we will be wanting to play in hardcore but for now just leveling the gun up focus on playing in core game modes. Once you have got it leveled all the way up the best class you want to be using to complete all the challenges is a task force barrel, the Spetnaz speed grip, the 50 round drum mag, the GRU elastic wrap and the Raider stock. Running this with perk greed with flak jacket and tack mask, assassin and tracker and gung ho and ninja. This will be the main best class you want to be using for most of the camo challenges unless I say otherwise because now we're going to be going through all the camo challenges individually. I'll give you a few tips and different changes you can make to your classes to make them easy and quicker to complete. So the first and hardest challenge you want to focus on is geometric and this is 50 long shots. To complete this one the easiest you will want a slightly different best class setup and you will want to be running the gunfighter wildcard so you can get 8 attachments on your gun. The class setup you want to be running is a SUSAT multi zoom sight, the KGB eliminator muzzle, the reinforced heavy barrel, the KGB target designator, the spetnaz grip, the 55 round drum mags, the GRU elastic wrap and the raider stock. This class is an absolute laser beam and will make it super easy to get your long range kills. The easiest way to do this is to tap fire in hardcore modes but you can spray as well with a little bit of extra recoil control as it is so accurate. Some good places to play to get these are on Nuketown playing in the garages and down the side of the houses, outside on Miami and also on Raid. I did basically all of mine inside of Nuketown just playing down the side of the houses and it only took me a couple of games because this class is so good you get those long range kills so easily so as long as you use that class it should be fairly easy to complete. Then the next hard one you want to focus on is Science which is 75 point blank kills. For this run the best class that I've had before the first one I talked about and if you want to you can swap the barrel out for a 5 milliwatt laser as you won't really need the extra damage at range. This class is really fast paced meaning you can rush and flank the enemies really easily. This is the best way to do it by sliding into the enemies from behind them they won't know you're there because the barrel basically has to be touching them for it to count as a point blank kill. You have to be super close make sure you wait if you can until you're right next to them to make sure it counts. If you shoot too early you might get the kill just a little bit too far away it won't count as a point blank kill and because you need 75 of them it does take quite a long time to do. Again it plays the small maps like Nuketown and Crossroads. These are the best as you can flank the easiest onto the enemies. You won't really flip out the spawns as much as you would on other maps, especially if it is an objective game mode. Run the same perks as I said before as well because this helps you stay stealthy whilst you are flanking. Then all the other challenges should be fairly easy to complete so I'll just go through them quickly now. Sprite you'll have definitely completed all of these. They were only 300 kills. Stripe you should have done as well because this was 75 headshots. If you've not quite finished this one off just use the best class setup. Maybe put an optic on it to make it easier but it shouldn't be a difficult one to do using that class. Next is classic which is 25 kill streaks. You might have a few of these left to finish off if you're not particularly good at staying alive. So the best class should really help you out. So just make sure you are playing in hard point and domination. So these are the best game mode where players will be bunched up the most. You can get those five kills nice and quickly so there's less chance of you dying. Next is floor which is 75 kills and enemies detected, stunned or blinded by your streaks, field upgrades or equipment. The best way to complete this is just to run UAV count UAV and half as your streaks as any kill that you get whilst these are in the air will all count towards this challenge so all you have to do is get 75 kills whilst these are up and that won't be too difficult to do. Just run the field mic as well, put this down on choke points and any enemy who is stood in that zone whether it's in hardcore or core mode game modes will all count towards this as well so it shouldn't be a difficult one to do is make sure you are running those things, placing them down and calling them in all the time, any kills you get will count towards it, you'll get them done without even thinking about it. Then finally you've got Psychedelic which is 25 double kills. Using the best class setups and the playstyles I've already talked about it shouldn't be too difficult to complete this one and it should be fairly straightforward to do. Once you've completed all those challenges you will have locked the 
golden camo on the PPSH. If this video has been helpful, make sure you check out my playlist, which is linked on screen now, which is my going for gold guide playlist. This is all of my gold guides for Cold War, so make sure you do check this out if you are trying to get any of the snipers or other weapons gold inside of Cold War multiplayer. But if this video has been helpful, then please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.